and I'm going to market, right? Yeah. Am I, uh, can I actually set it, set it up on my own website or do I have to go to, to the Unity store to actually sell the, app, the uh, games? And Unity doesn't have a store. Okay. So when you build it, it builds to an EXE on PC. Okay. It builds to uh, whatever, whatever the map stuff DMG or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, if you're doing like mobile, iOS App Store, right. Google Play, like you, you go through those stores. We just signed a deal with Xiaomi, which allows us to distribute in China and Korea, which are generally closed markets oh, okay. to, to uh, Westerners. Mm -hmm. um, so that opens, blows the market wide open. Tons of, if you guys, if there's nothing else to take away from this, localize the Chinese, right? Because, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, money hand over fist. Our China market, um, three years ago, was like a million dollars a year revenue. Then the China government was like, okay, you can have Xbox and PlayStations in China. And now we're at like 170 million or something like that. I mean, it's stupid, just stupid numbers. Like, right. just the growth has been over hundreds of percentages every quarter. It's just insane. There's a lot of people in China. I don't know if you guys even know that or not. Uh, so, uh, yeah, by developing and releasing. India, too. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. India's always been pretty good. Like, India yeah. hasn't had to close. Like, no, China no. was like, yeah. black box, no one. Yeah, now it's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's been really good. So, yeah, localization in China is really, really good. Um, cool. So, yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, if you're, if you're, like, if you're building for Steam, obviously be in the Steam store and you have to put right. their hooks in it or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, if you're just doing, like, like Unity develop. So, I talk about, like, building it, right? If I go to uh, my build settings here, uh, I, right here is PC, Mac, and Linux. If I just hit build, it's going to make an EXE oh, right now. Okay. Um, there's iOS, TVOS, Android, Tizen, Xbox One, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4. Uh, Windows Universal Platform, WebGL, Samsung TV, Facebook. We do more, some of them like we do Wii, Wii U, and 3DS. Uh, those require a license from Nintendo, which is why they don't appear in that list. But mm -hmm. if you have a license, then they do, and whatever. But yeah, 29 platforms. So cool. It's pretty ridiculous. Yep. Ah, you were wrong. That wasn't the last question. <laughs> yes. How close are we to Ready Player One? <laughs> you know, that is in my Amazon queue. I still haven't read it. Oh. But you, I'm gonna say really close. Did you read it? Or, uh, if you do the audio book, it's read by Will Wheaton. Oh, okay. And it's fantastic. I'll oh, keep that in mind. I listen to a lot of audio books. I'm still on Terry Pratchett series. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, cool. They just read okay. a teaser poster for it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're making a movie. So shocking. Yeah, right. I'm gonna read the book. It's a good book. Yeah. Right. Artificial imagination. That makes it easier. Uh, okay. so meta, right? <laughs> Other questions? Should we do a quick uh, Unity demo while other people who aren't quite Show of hands, who would actually benefit from a, just a quick demo? Like a, like a hands-on demo? Okay, so a lot of people. Sure, okay. I'll run and everyone else, feel free to like grab some pizza or something, and the rest of you, go ahead and get started. Oh, okay. So, for everyone interested here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how much it's going to like follow I'm along, follow yeah, along, but I, you know, of course, yeah. I'll show you some stuff, right? So I'm going to create a new project <laughs> here, and uh, right. projects are basically just folders. They're self-contained, right? The name of my project is the name of the folder. If I want to name, rename a project, just rename the folder. <coughs> Nothing is saved outside that folder. If I give you the folder, you have my project. That's right, right? And so I'm going to create a project on my desktop, which I'll just call like sample, whatever. And I can create a 3D or 2D game. I'm just going to hit create. Uh, I'm not going to say what I have here. So I'm going to create a new project. And so the problem is, is, is as was stated previously, this is going to pop up, and I'm going to just see a screen. And I'm not going to have any assets. I'm not going to know what I'm doing. I just see this, or you know, more than likely, I see my default layout. Something like that, and I say, okay, now. Yeah. Right? Exactly what I said. Exactly, right? And so, now that you say, you're inside the game, it's inside the game. So, <laughs> down here is where we store, like, <laughs> right? You know, assets, yeah. father, hard drive, models, textures, I don't have any of them. So, I can go out and I can download them, I can make them, whatever. But let's say okay. I can start prototyping without these things, right? Um, I can, you know, I can yeah. use Unity with right? graphical assets. So, I have this thing here for the, you know, and let me, I have a, a zooming tool, let me apply this here. What's your name again? Right, right. One moment. You're going to confuse you with somebody. Oh. Here's who, here's who he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, his name is Hardik. Oh. 
works with the. Right. You have an he actual works mouse with um, Jumpstart. Yes. I need to talk to him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, I lower your screen is going to be a little trickier. Uh, there we go. All right. Man. Yeah. 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 Audio too. So I have this hierarchy of windows that list everything that's in my scene. I love my logic right now. Right. And if I wanted to, I could just, uh, you know, click create, create an object queue. All right, so, and that creates a queue. And there it is. And I can move it around, I can do sort of whatever I want to it. And if I want to simulate physics, all I need to do is denote this thing is a physically important object. It, the physics engine needs to pay attention to it. You guys built into physics. And so I'm going to do something over here. So we've got on the right hand side this inspector. And the inspector is like a proxy window, right? So your proxy window is like any other IDE, whatever. These are things we care about. This queue has these right. things on here called components. These components are modular bits of behavior, right? I put a box collider on something, anything. And it has a box physical collider on it. I can put a box collider on a sphere. I can put it on Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Not, it's a box collider, right? I can put a mesh renderer on anything, and it renders a mesh. Yeah, yeah. I can put a sprite render on anything. I just try to put a light on something, it shines a light. I put a camera on it, it becomes a camera. Have you ever had a mirror? modular behavior. So if I want a camera that also has a light, it falls, right? I can put a light on a camera and give it originality, and it'll be a physical camera that has a light. Right? And so I'm going to add a component, and I can just go to my physics here and say rigid body. Rigid body means physics, and yet this is important. It's a physics term, rigid body. You will adhere to physics. Right? And so if I look at my game view, my game view, well, my camera is, you'll see that cube. If I hit play to run it, and there you go. Because I said physics, you care about this, so physics said, Okay. Okay. Blue right. event. If I wanted to, then I yeah. could say, um, and, I mean, it's green, 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 Okay, so we have a physical interaction. One thing is a rigid body, so it wants to have a voice, it's like a light, and it doesn't. So it just gets like a wet, so it's right there. So if I want to turn this whole thing into a VR experience, again, I can just go to my project settings for my player, and uh, now that I can zoom, virtual reality supported. And here's the two built in SDKs, I believe. I can also uh, do a generic SDK if I have my own or whatever. These are built in. But by saying virtual reality supported, right? There it goes. Bye. I don't have that. Right? <laughs> Into the abyss. Yeah. There it goes. Right? It'll fall forever. You won't have to fall forever. Once you get to like maybe 65,000, 65 million, uh, the engine will just stop because you can't like the limitation of flow mathematics. Uh, it will stop and just have to chunk it down. It goes like super flow. Right, that. right. Um, so you can. But uh, it's always just a, a matter of stacking these things. So let's say. Um, I don't know, let's say I want to build, let's build a kind of a, a, a different <coughs> project here. So I'm going to remove the sphere collider. So I don't want it to collide like a sphere. So now, if I play, let me just fall right through it. It's not physical anymore. Let me say instead, I'm going to add a box collider to that sphere. You can see the box collider, there it is. And so now, even though it's a sphere, it's going to behave like a box. Physical. Graphically, it's still a sphere. <laughs> So if I want to add some interaction, I can go to create C sharp script. Uh, I'll just call it movement. And open it up here. Uh, so here's my movement script. And so let's go to updates. That's what happens every single frame. That's what game is. So over over. It starts for our initialization. Update is just for every frame we want to do. And so let's say I want to be able to move this cube with my keyboard. Right? Left and right arrows, I want to move off the cube. So every 3D object has to call a transform. A really complex way of saying it has a position in 3D space, has a rotation in 3D space, and a scale in 3D space. So when I do that transform, I can move stuff. So I can say something along the lines of um, float, horizontal, I don't know, it's not that way wrong out here. 
equals, we have a static class called input, get axis, and there's a built-in input axis called horizontal. Now I can make my own input axes, I can rename them and define what they mean. There's 18 input axes built by default. Horizontal is your A and D key or your left and right arrows, it just means right. All right. The reason I say input that get axis, or the reason I don't say key code dot A. Tell me if I'm pressing the A key. The reason I don't do that is you don't always have an A key. Right? If you speak a different language, you may not have an A. Or if you're on a mobile device, you may not have keys at all. So we do the axes, we can remap those whatever we want. So this is going to give me a float value of how much my movement is left and right. And now I can just do transform, that's that thing I talked about for a second, second year old. Dot translate. Translate is a really common way of saying move. Y and Z axis. X is your left and right, Y is your up and down, Z is your forward and back. I'm going to move it left and right, so I'm going to move the first one is X, so I will just move the lobby. So that I think about spell horizontal on there. Uh, and then I will also say, because I don't want to move on the money that is X, left and right. So I have to I'm going to take this script and I'm going to read it. And I'm just going to drop it all out of here. Because it is a component, and just like all my other components. And now, when I play, it was a little dark, you know. Well, maybe I should slow it down a bit. Yeah, he's like, I don't think I like that really fast. Well, then I can also make it so I have to the frame rate of my computer by saying, that's kind of the size, you know? So multiply by the incremental time between frames, so take big numbers and very small and consistent. And then if I play, 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 Right? Physics so there we go. Now, again, this is just a script. I can drop it on anything. So I drop it on my camera. It's going to be really weird. My camera, but you can watch it. Or I'm still in VR. Yeah. So when I turn on VR, I can no longer move my camera because I can't control my camera. So that's why I didn't know that it's right. If I turn VR off, uh, then we'll see that in the now my camera's moving with that, makes it look like the cube's moving. Right. The cube's not moving. The speaker and the camera are moving, and so it settles us on the illusion that the cube's moving. What's interesting is that if you're going to right arm, it may be. Yeah, I think it's like better than his ear. Yeah. 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 Yeah